Hey there, Woodsuit family, it's Ryan here. In a few weeks' time, my wife and I will be hosting family Christmas. And that means we need to find places in order to have people sleep. Now, when we first moved in, all of our boxes came into the house. And then as the renovations finished in the kitchen and in the upstairs, anything that was important for day-to-day -day living went upstairs and everything that did not fit into that loose category remained in boxes in the basement. And there's a lot of boxes to go through, and so that's what we're spending our time doing in preparation for family Christmas. But here's the interesting thing while I'm going through these boxes of stuff. I have a hard time letting go of my material possessions. I am a pack rat. The only time I ever feel comfortable getting rid of stuff is when I pick it up and I can't remember who gave it to me, why I had it, why I chose to keep it in the box or why I couldn't part with it, and you know, why do I have it now? When I can't answer any of those questions, it's only then that I feel comfortable getting rid of it. But the implication there is that it's no longer my stuff. It belongs to past me and it has no value for current me or future me. I know that's a really weird way to think about it. It becomes like, whose stuff is this? Who does this belong to? I started to think about photographs. We were going through our boxes of pictures and there are pictures of me as a child. There is definitely a cutoff where when that picture was taken, I have no memory. I have no cognitive connection to that past. The only connection I have is I recognize the photo because it's been in the photo album forever. The photos are ultimately of another person and so what is the purpose of keeping them? And I don't really have a good solid answer for that. This is a fairly new problem I would say because photography's only been around for what 150, 200 years. The idea of accumulating photos in albums to pass on to other people and to, to retain you know, throughout your life is I think a fairly recent phenomenon and it's a phenomenon that's changed in the age of digital photography where you no longer have boxes of physical photographs but you'll have hard drives and cloud space of digital photos and so what do you do with those photos that sometimes you lose that connection to. I mean, ultimately, I am going to keep the photos. They are of me, they are given to me, they're important to me, even if I don't remember them, but I that is the important part of the photos. It's there to capture a moment even long after your memory has faded. And so it is important to hold on to these things. But I have to admit, when I'm unpacking boxes and I'm trying to distract myself, my mind goes to pretty depressing areas. It's probably time that I bring these meandering set of musings to a halt, only because I am clearly just procrastinating from going downstairs and unpacking more boxes. But I wanted to share these thoughts with you, and like those photos, I hope at least you find some value in it. I certainly enjoy stopping and musing about these things. But anyways, thanks for stopping by, and don't forget, stay awesome. Thank <laughs> you.